This is a production of WTVI PBS Charlotte. For many parents, the daily routine of taking a child to and from school and completing daily homework assignments can be intense. Imagine if those activities create more stress than usual and your child needs extra support. Carolina Impact Sarah Batista recently visited a school specifically designed for children with learning differences. Here's her story. Uh, the dog is so sweet. Such a good boy. With a little help from a therapy dog and a new place to learn, Braden Rush now has a new outlook when it comes to getting good grades. I feel great and I feel like I've improved a lot. But school didn't always come easily to the 10 year old. At age eight, Braden was diagnosed with ADHD, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, a neurological disorder that affects one's ability to focus and concentrate. He also struggled with writing assignments. Braden's mom, Kathleen, says she noticed his confidence started to diminish and his self-esteem took a hit. He was still getting good grades, which was, which was great, but the main difference we saw was just his stress level. And for a child that young, that can be really heartbreaking for a parent to say. Completing homework became a daily chore and an uphill battle. Trying to get him to sit down after he'd been sitting all day and to focus really became a struggle, um, not only for him, but for me, <laughs> who was there doing, you know, trying to help him with it. My old school was um, stressing and it wasn't as, um, it didn't help me and improve. It didn't teach me the way that I need to be teached because that school was like for kids without disabilities. Realizing Brayden needed a different learning environment, Kathleen started doing her own homework. And she learned about the John Crosland School, a school specifically designed for children with disabilities. We make a lot of different accommodations based on what the individual students need from the way the building was painted, colors that were used as a calming effect, the type of lighting that we have, the lights are, are made so that they don't buzz, hum, or, or that the light doesn't flicker. A short time after enrolling her son at the John Crosland School, Kathleen says she noticed an immediate change in Braden. He began taking more ownership, and those homework assignments, which used to take hours to complete, became less overwhelming. About eight weeks into school, he would come home, unpack his bag by himself, sit down, do his homework. I wouldn't even have to remind him. I wouldn't have to stand over his shoulder. He's become so much more independent. Braden now makes straight A's, and he's even on the school honor roll. At my old school, I didn't write as good as I did now. I wasn't as neat. I hated math at their school. Now I really like math here. He's doing fantastic here. Felicia Robinson understands Braden's struggle all too well. Her son Jordan was also diagnosed with ADHD and dyscalculia, which causes difficulty processing numbers. Felicia says Jordan's poor performance in school indicated he needed extra academic support. The stress of the situation spilled over into their family life. For the parents, it's, it's also social and emotional because you also don't know who you can trust that information with because you want to protect your child. So um, it was very difficult for me and my husband at first and very emotional, but then we get into you know gear mode and what can we do to position our child for success. Once Jordan got settled in the John Crosland School, Felicia says his grades began to improve. Now the 14-year-old is on track and dreams of becoming a cartoonist one day. They try to look at the child as an individual and create an environment that helps that child to really be empowered to do what they, what they feel they want to do. It's been great education. I really enjoyed the teachers and they teach us new stuff and they are super smart and they are really well educated like us, like we are. Jennifer Nichols says the school combines specialized curriculum and technology to engage students. To watch them get excited and realize, wow, I can do this. I can do math. I didn't think I could, but I can. And I can decide what I want to do. And I feel good about me. And hey, I'm pretty smart. And to watch that process over time and to watch them become more confident, bolder, begin to choose things, begin to follow their passions, it excites me every day. But attending class here isn't cheap. Tuition can cost up to $20,000 annually. A number of the students here receive financial aid and most parents agree their child's academic success is worth the financial sacrifice. 
two-thirds of those families never thought they would be paying for secondary education. And so it's very difficult, and many of them raid retirement funds, they sell their homes, they do the things that they need to do, take on extra jobs, and it's very difficult. The school will eventually have capacity for 250 students, but Nichols says the need is much greater. We could use many schools like this, but it requires funding. Until more schools like John Crosland become available, Kathleen says it's important for parents to understand their child's learning style. For the parents out there that have children that are in a school now that may be struggling and they've been on the fence, you know, where do I look? I would say just start doing your research, visit schools, get to know your child. Um, there's always financial aid available at schools. For Carolina Impact, I'm Sarah Batista reporting. Thanks so much, Sarah. Joining me now is Dr. Sean Preston, head of school at the John Crosland School. Dr. Preston, thanks so much for your time. How are you? Thank you, Amy. I'm doing great. You know, it really is exciting to see a school like yours making such an impact on these students that sometimes struggle in the public school situation. Help us understand how it is so successful for you. Well, there's a couple of really important points to, to, to um, identify for the John Crosland School. Number one is that we have a wonderful assistive technology platform at our school. That platform is called the Odyssey Project. And the Odyssey Project allows us to, to, um, to have a blended learning platform for all of our students. The devices are tailor-made for each child, so the software that they need is on that device. Uh, the teachers have access to all the student software on that device, and the students take the device home and access all the digital curriculum from home and from school. And your classroom sizes are a little smaller than public schools as well, aren't they? They are, about six to 10 kids. And that's really what we need to help these students with learning differences be successful, correct? That's correct. It's the least restrictive environment. And, and all schools, I believe, in good faith, uh, strive to have the least restrictive environment for their students, especially LD students. Uh, but our school achieves that all day, every day, by having such small classrooms, having highly qualified and trained teachers, um, having um, administrators who are there to support the, the overall education of the student. And uh, as a result, they are in the least restrictive environment all day. You know, talk to us a little bit everyone is always interested or at least intrigued by statistics. And there's a startling mm -hmm. statistic that folks who are incarcerated, 78% of people who are in jail and prison mm -hmm. have been diagnosed with a learning difference. That's true. You're offering an opportunity to help these kids be successful before they end up being that scary statistic, and you have a much more positive, exciting statistic to share. We do. 90% of our uh, high school graduates go on to the, uh, the four-year college of their choice. Not just any four-year college, but the one that they choose to apply to and then eventually enroll in. We find that to be a wonderful statistic, that they are able to go and pursue uh, a career of, of their choosing. And, and the LD did not get in the way, is what we say at our school often. Um, so as a result, we feel pretty confident that we're helping to reduce the, the other um, stat that you gave earlier and put more kids into college. You know, but not every student is ready for college right away, so you're starting something very new that's called the 13th year? Yep, the 13th year of study called the Pathfinder Program. The Pathfinder Program is a, um, a partnership with CPCC, so students all across the state who have graduated from an accredited high school, public or private, um, can enroll in the John Carlson School Pathfinder Program. Um, there they will be um, uh, enrolled in CPCC and can pursue a certificate program of choice or an associate's degree while, this, uh, while having the support to the John Carlson School uh, behind the scenes. So it really is that sort of next step, that hand-holding opportunity mm -hmm. for these students to really get ready for you know, all the challenges that do exist outside in the real world when perhaps they won't be given the special assistance that they're able to have at the John Crosland School. That's absolutely correct. They'll go on to, to pursue a certificate program, associate's degree, maybe a four-year college degree after that, but have us in the backdrop help them with their homework, their assignments, navigate the course schedule, um, communicate with CPCC as needed. Um, we think it's just a wonderful partnership and it's the first of its kind in North Carolina. It's very exciting. Are you able to accommodate the need for education for students with learning differences in your school? We are. We, we, we are hitting a home run these days with, with the students that come to our school. We're able to give them the least restrictive environment, some of the best assistive technology you can find, and the most highly qualified and trained teachers that, that you can find as well, and just an overall feeling of 
concern and passion for our students. Are you able to handle the demand, I guess, it might be a better question. Is there so much more need than you can, that you can accommodate at this particular time? We're able to keep pace at the time, but it's, it's challenging. We're having to build additional classrooms every year to accommodate our growth, which we're very excited about. Um, our school is equipped to serve up to 250 students when we're fully um, built out, which we're very excited about as well. Um, but yes, at this point, we're able to, to match the growth, but it's been a challenge. Dr. Sean Preston, head of school at the John Crosland School, thank you for all you're doing to help level the playing field for these great kids. Thank you, Amy.